first flight of the new year happy new year everybody i am so excited to have made it into 2024 and celebrated the turn of the new year at midnight and three hours later i am on a flight to my first country of 2024 i am simply starting the year as i hope to continue you know which is catching flights from one destination to the next to the next to the next you catch my drift <laughs> so i am heading to addis ababa in ethiopia my flight was at like 6 a.m listen early morning flights always sound like a good idea until it's actually time to wake up for that early morning flight you know but we made it so this is my first vlog of the year i really slacked last year but we're back on business we are standing on business with the vlogs on this channel this year i'll be here for three weeks and i intend to visit several spots in the country i want to go to the omo valley to see the people there i want to go to lalibela for christmas which is like at the end of the week a huge celebration happening there i want to go to eta ale the volcano you know i want to go all over ethiopia so stick around of course i'll be staying safe guys because there's a war that's happening in certain parts of the country i'm curious to see how that has affected tourism welcome to addis ababa it took forever to exit that airport here's me now um just going to find my driver i'm being picked up and then we can catch up when i get to my airbnb This is us. So here we go. Oh, finally. <sighs> oh, you are driving on the wrong side. <laughs> you are driving, you drive on the left. I forgot about that. The drive from the airport has clean streets, good roads. I like it. I'm so happy to be back, both in Addis Ababa and on this channel. I am looking forward to coming back with more vlogs on vlogs on vlogs this year. So I've decided to find a coffee place first before I show you guys my Airbnb, then we'll look for Ethiopian food later on. So let's find a coffee spot. Coffee, our first cup of coffee in Addis Ababa. So we have this going. It's like incense, somewhat. Yeah, it's delicious. It's what? Yeah, it's a good flavor. Oh, uh, yeah, it smells nice. You can actually put this in your house if you just want it to smell nice, right? Yeah. yeah. And then coffee, again, some espresso stuff. Just time. Also, families bond over coffee. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. By the time I'm living here, I'll be a co yeah. coffee head as well. Because in Kenya, Kenyans love tea. Oh. But we produce coffee as well, but people mostly like tea. Mm -hmm. Here, tea not so much, right? Yeah. Ah, okay. It is good coffee though. Do you like it? Mm. Really, really quick tour. You walk in, there's a kitchen on the side. I really like the view from the kitchen. Look at that, very colorful. Dining room over here. Living room here. Let me show you the balcony. I keep coming out here because I can get some sun over here and it's by a road. And then there's the other room, bathroom. I'm the only one staying here and this is the master room which has its own bathrooms and this is basically it i'm in the process of unpacking so my things are still a bit strewn all over the place it is very cold so this blanket is coming in handy but then i was also getting very cold on the plane as well so i had this blanket because it cranked up the ac like you know we were in the desert or something uh or maybe i'm coming down on something and i don't know <laughs> Because I'm getting cold very easily. Anyway, so I don't have Wi-Fi in this spot yet. But getting that figured out. Meanwhile, I think I'm just going to sleep. Because there's nothing else to do, you know? I'm going to sleep for a couple of hours. 
snack because I'm also underslept. And then we'll go find some Ethiopian food later later this evening. So I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Good evening. So it's about 6 p.m. right now and a girl is starving. You know, last time I ate was on the plane. That was like at 7, 7.30 a.m. I had like a croissant <laughs> with orange juice. So I'm quite hungry and I've been salivating about Ethiopian food all day. I'm thinking of getting something like shiro. Shiro is like this chickpea um, curry stew thing. And or tibs. Tibs is just fried beef. And I love those two. Those are like my favorite dishes in ethiopian cuisine then with injera and injera is that flatbread and then goman i think goman is like the greens i'm not too sure about that one but that's what's on my mind let's go hit up Addis. the place i was mentioned is called butcher something let's go hit up Addis and let's see if the city delivers are you opening it So this is a space, this is Aksum Hotel. Are you ready? It's called, it's called Tobia Tejbet. Tobia, Ethiopia, like Tobia. Oh, so like Ethiopia Tejbet. Yeah, Tobia Okay, okay. Tobia. Aksum Hotel is just near this side also. It's next to Aksum Hotel. Oh, next to Aksum Hotel. Okay, okay, okay. So when they said half liter. It's half liter. Oh, this is half liter. I'm like, this looks like half liter to me. <laughs> okay, this is my first time trying Tej, so. Cheers. You talk like this. Huh? Like this? Like this. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. How do you say cheers in Tawadi? Yeah. You say cheers as well? No, we say Latinachin. 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 Okay. For our heads. For our heads? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is this is like a cider. A Everyone cider. is asking if you have ciders here. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. It, how what alcohol percentage is this before I go drinking it like it's juice? <laughs> uh, it's maybe ten. Ten is a lot. <laughs> I don't. I'm not sure. Oh, this so is this so is good. <coughs> this is so, so good. So how we make it is like. A... Oh, I love this. So uh -huh. to make touch, it's fermented. So we mix with water, honey, uh, hops, you know, the green leaf to make it alcohol, and malt. And ferment it for a few days. So the more you ferment it, the more, the potent. more it gets stronger. Mm. Nice. Yeah. 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 Mm. 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 